This is a Raspberry Pi. In this video, I am going to install the F5 VPN client to connect my home network to AWS using this Raspberry Pi. Here is a topology that I will be using in my demonstration. I will be using the F5 VPN client that is installed on a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi will be making a VPN connection to a big IP that is in AWS. Behind that big IP is a backend instance that is running Nginx. From my laptop, I will be able to connect to the backend instance via the big IP. This is possible because in my home network, I've configured the network to forward all traffic that is destined for the AWS networks to my Raspberry Pi. From the Raspberry Pi, it is configured to forward traffic from my home network through the VPN tunnel to the AWS network. Now that we've looked at the topology, let's take a look at this in action. First, let's start with my home laptop device. Currently, if I try to access my AWS resource, which is on the 10.1.10 .10 network, I am not able to connect. You can see that I have configured all traffic on my home network for 10.1.10 .10 to go to my Raspberry Pi device. Here I am on my Raspberry Pi device. I am going to now create a connection to my big IP that is residing in AWS. In this case, I am connecting to the public IP of the big IP that is in AWS. I am using a client certificate to authenticate my connection, and I am starting the VPN connection. To check on the status of my connection, I can run the info command. Here we can see that the connection is being established. Now that the connection is established, I should be able to connect to my backend resource directly from my Raspberry Pi. Here we can see that the Raspberry Pi device is able to connect to AWS. As noted earlier, I am next going to connect from my laptop through my home network to AWS. Here I am back on my laptop and I am now going to retry to connect to the AWS resource. This time the, the connection is successful because I have created the VPN connection to AWS. In this first scenario, I used a connection from my home network to AWS, but you could easily replicate this same configuration going in the reverse direction if you have resources in your home network that you would like to access from AWS. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Thank you very much.